Hi, Tanja here and welcome to TMJ TV, a weekly video series aimed at real estate leaders that would love more time to grow their people and their business. Did you know that leaders spend up to 80% of their time navigating the people, performance and productivity issues within the business? Now this means their focus is off recruiting for results, delivering strategies for success and gaining the market share that they desire. Well, I'd love to help. Every single week I'm going to share insights and free downloadable tools to help you and your people achieve your success in the least amount of time. I hope you enjoy this next episode of TM. MJTV. Hi, Tanja here and welcome to TMJ TV, a weekly video series for real estate leaders and teams that want to grow themselves and their people in the least amount of time. And a couple of days ago, I caught up with these two, Maria and Manos, on their couch. I think it's time that they sat on the Eric couch. We're welcome, guys. Pleasure. So good. I love it. Thanks for having us, Tanja. It's great it's to great be with you're you. You're welcome. And so, Maria Manos, of course, the directors of the EVU Group, a fabulous national uh, real estate brand that is building leaders. And this is what we're here to talk about, leadership. So yes, we are sitting here at Eric. Has your Eric experience been so it's far? It's been phenomenal. Amazing two days. Yeah. Certainly yeah. has. It's Some real one key of the performances. Best. One of the best. Certainly Bob Wolf has been an absolute highlight yeah but congratulations to the team and year. to John putting on a, a fantastic yeah it's pretty show phenomenal yeah, really is so so we are here specifically talking about leaders and this is something that's really important to you and your brand mm. and your ethos why is that why is leadership and de creating a platform for leaders important to you I th I, personally I think it's all about uh, we as leaders need to be amplifying other people in our in our business to be leaders yeah. and giving them the tools and guidance guidance to uh, excel in where they want to go mm. and obviously uh, surround them themselves with great people yeah. to get them to where they want to go yeah so yeah. it's a cascade um, there's a process. ripple effect isn't it, it? Is. yeah it I is. think I think for us it was um, it's the reason why we started review it's mm. been in our DNA we've always worked for ourselves and we wanted to surround ourselves with lots like-minded people. We didn't want to micromanage people. We wanted mm. people to uh, that wanted to lead to join us, and we wanted to help them create really amazing businesses. So that's why I think leadership is important. It's critical. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you've both been agents. Yes. Uh, and I know you went in, you know, kicking, kicking and screaming in in, in yeah. your denim suit, which we've talked about. <laughs> Uh, and one of your philosophies is to create an opportunity for to be in the business um, for yourself, but also have that support. Yeah. Being business for yourself, but not by yourself. But not yeah. by yourself. And because one of the things that leaders find is that dance between being in the business and on the business. Mm. So all that dollar productive and people productive stuff. So what is it about? you and the eview brand that provides that environment for them to just focus on servicing their team and their clients and then all that other stuff can be taken care of because yeah. it's a big one mm. i think it's first of all is uh, speaking to each individual and recognizing what they're good at yeah and then um, helping them realize that by sticking to their lane and doing what they're good at yeah and letting go of all the other stuff so we can look after all of that for them they'll have a really successful business i mm. think that's one of the key things Absolutely. to begin uh, with. As, as a business leader, you're wearing all these hats. Mm. Yeah. You've got multiple hats and you need to be really efficient in all of them, but not perfect. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. So, so electing where your really your strengths are and looking at where you're a bit weak on and seeing where you can outsource that. And I guess that's what our and role is. Go, and letting you know, go. Allowing them to mm. actually um, have faith and trust in us that we're mm. going to look after those parts of their business and mm. they're going to keep running and running even better and more efficient mm. while they're out there doing what they do best, which is listing and selling. Which yes. is listing and selling yeah. and that's where we make the greatest And difference. mentoring mm. their team. So yeah. if they're mm. too busy worrying about administration, so if you look, I think the beauty about us is we took a helicopter view of the business pulled it all apart and said, what are the components that are absolutely critical for a leader to be involved in the business? And that is being in the field, uh, talking to their client base, and then leading their team. Mm. Administration is really not necessary, mm. a, a component of a leader. So long as you know you have the confidence that you've got someone in the background doing that for you, mm. it's a hat you don't have to wear. You need to be aware of the process. Of course. So um, to make sure that it's, it's being conducted uh, mm. correctly, but apart from that, give it to someone else. Outsource it mm. and make sure that you can uh, focus on your dollar productive 
mm. and your core focus. Mm. Well, to achieve mm. macro growth, you don't want to be focused on the micro no. you know, movement. And, and I see uh, admin teams as the glue that makes everything stick together. And, but, uh, it's you know, a very important job, but most salespeople don't enjoy it. Yes. Or most leaders don't enjoy that part. And you, so because I love it. Uh, you yeah. do. Yeah. I love yeah. the administration <laughs> side of it yeah. and pulling it apart, putting it back together and seeing how we can make it more efficient, yes. yeah. more cost effective and making it a bit more fun mm. as well and getting the right people in those roles. Those mm. people that don't want to be sales agents, those people that are really good in processes as opposed to being out there in the field and chasing mm. for, for new business. Mm. So what would you say to sales agents that are sitting there who, yeah. like many, are thinking, I reckon I could do it. I reckon oh, I want to do my own thing. You know, I've, I've earned my stripes, I've been working for this great brand, but there's something inside of me that wants to go and do my own thing because yeah. it's a big leap. It is. And there's it many is. things to consider. What are some of the key considerations that you can see when people walk through the door, they, if they had have known, it would be helpful for them to be prepared for? Yeah, great question, great <laughs> question. There's so many. And there's so many aspects mm. to it. But if you really distilled it to a couple of things, is one, the desire to be on your own? Yeah. Is there something, is there a bit of a spark in you to say, you know, I want to create something for myself? Mm -hmm. That's number one. Number two, have you got the capacity? So capacity is in a number of ways. It's financial. Mm. That's a really important um, aspect of it. And so we say to people, if you're aspired to be a leader and you've been in the sales trenches, are you writing at least 300,000 in GCI, mm. 500,000 to really take that next step mm. in business ownership own. and leadership? Because there's many liabilities that you've got to factor uh, in. And, there is. And which has got lots of potential, but you've got to know, you got to enter it with eyes wide open. I, I was going to say, the first thing you should do is ask why. Yes. Why mm. do you want to do it? Yeah. Um, before you do anything and really work out what that is. Because yeah, if it's... Uh, for making more money or you, you just got to work it out because sometimes yeah. what you think it's going to be <laughs> actually not necessarily. Yes, seeing your name on the building so is nice but then yeah. there's a big responsibility to yeah, keep it there. Well, most people think by opening up my own business I'll be able to keep the majority of my commission, I'll make more money and only to find out they're going into business, they've got heaps of bills to pay, yeah. they've got a team to mentor so therefore their time of listing and selling is cut in half so the income coming in is actually reduced. So yes. So you're working it's, harder and it's the pockets actually, uh, yeah. So I think the law why, of diminishing returns. I think why is the most important mm. thing and they've got to work yeah. out why. And, and I guess why. that's why we created eView. So mm. there's a platform that's already established so that if you are thinking of, of, uh, of taking that next step, a lot of the hard work is already done for you. There's an doing easier way of doing yeah. it. And, and you've so got you the can, support of the, yeah, of course. the whole, yeah, the whole corporate team. team. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. Now you have some pretty uh, phenomenal leaders within your yes. business who are, have blessed. created super teams mm. uh, and who are leaders in their own right, traveling the nation and then also internationally speaking mm. and sharing their wisdom. How does that make you feel? Oh, having so extremely proud. proud. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we, 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 we always envisage, for us it's never been to be up on stage, it's never, it's, it's, but as a leader there's a lot of, it's about your people. Yeah. And sometimes you believe more in them than they do in themselves. Yeah, I've heard and you when, say that And before. when you see them step up and reach their, reach their goals, mm. and for us it's not about running a million dollars or writing 200,000, it's about their personal goals. Mm. Uh, for, for, in family it's, life, yeah. in business, it's all those levels. Um, success to us is not about how many transactions you actually made in the year. Well success for everybody looks is different. different. Yeah. So for us it's helping them achieve what whatever it, theirs whatever is. Theirs. And what are the what would you say if you were to distill it down to three qualities? If you think about you know the the, the guys and the girls in in your team mm. that are really setting the benchmark mm -hmm. uh, and being a great example for others to follow, whatever yeah. it is that you yeah. want to realise. Yeah. What are the three characteristics or attributes that stand out? I think, what would you say Maria? I think um, they, they know what they're good at and they stick to their, their lane, mm -hmm. that would be number one. Self-awareness. Self-awareness. Mm. Um, they lead by example. Mm -hmm. They lead by example, they lead their teams by example, so they, uh, they don't ask people to do things that they wouldn't do themselves, so mm. definitely leading by example. And just believing in themselves, believing that they can do whatever it is that mm. they want to do. I'd add yeah. one more to, mm -hmm. to that. It's good DNA. Yeah. Mm. They're just and what does that nice, mean? Good people. Right. They really are sacrificing mm -hmm. uh, of themselves. So of service to of others. Service, of service to others. Yeah. And they've just got that good DNA. They're just nice people. Mm. And who are willing to take action as well. Mm. Um, and as Maria Actions says, stay, stay yeah. in their lane. 
uh, and they believe in their people, they're, they're willing to that's help. Mm. Yeah. So that's... There's a few. Yeah. There's more than three. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you can yeah. see there's a similarity uh -huh. and, and oh, I'm, I'm hearing this yeah. with all the conversations we're having. There's definitely that servanthood leadership. Mm. Um, you, you, you've got... I mean, listen, if it's good for Richard Branson, it's good for us. You know, if you treat your people like your clients, then oh, they'll yes. treat you know your clients as gold. Yeah. We have, um, as you know, yes. Re yes. I've recently partnered with CoreLogic Australia and we've done a, a survey to find out well what is the current state of leadership within the Australian real estate industry. We have released uh, the executive summary so big thanks to my partner in crime here, the uh, data queen Kylie Davis. Kylie. So uh, I asked you to have a look at some of the top key findings and, and tell us, read us the one that you've picked and why you think it's of yeah, interest. The, the, the t the First one, um, Tanja, 21% of real mm. estate agents say the quality of leadership in their organisation is excellent. 45% say it's good. Mm. So really what, what it's actually saying is 80% are saying it's either good or not or excellent. Something else. Or yeah. something <laughs> else. <laughs> so, what's uh, so that's really four in five are saying that leadership is, is not really all that great. Mm. So is there a lack of leadership? Is there a lack of training out there in the mm. marketplace? Or is it a, a lack of belief? And uh, leadership takes a lot of courage. Mm. It takes courage to really step up, mm -hmm. actually put yourself out there. It is at many times a thankless, it is. thankless Lots position. Times, yeah. And a lot of people sometimes can't handle that. They're thinking, oh, okay, yeah, can yeah, I, yeah. should I, or how come I'm not getting a pat on the back? Yeah, yeah. And if that's the <laughs> reason mine? you're, where's, <laughs> if that's one of the reasons you aspire to be a leader, it's probably the wrong yeah. reason to enter leadership. So I guess looking at that stat, apart from that, really, if you want to be a good leader, the amount of tools that mm. are available to people, the amount of information, um, and people to actually model yourself from mm. and to learn from, just like we learned in sales. Mm. I, I don't Learn think anyone steps into that role to be a bad leader though. No, no. of course so not. I think everybody's intentions are really good, yes. but maybe they don't have the tools or they don't know yeah. how to, and then they become really overwhelmed with everything mm. that they have to do within their business, mm. and that's why that's the feedback. So I think, you know, um, partner yourself with uh, a group or you know there's so many mm. groups out there that you can become a part of or mm. uh, you know seek advice uh, bring in a coach um, get guidance because you know if you're a good person you can become a really good leader you just mm. gotta know how sometimes so, yeah um, yeah and yeah. I think uh, yeah and it, it says important. there it says agents say the quality of leadership in the organization is um, excellent 21 percent so are they saying, so is the people in the organisation saying to their leader and having a bit of an accountability mm. session and yeah. saying, I'm expecting a little bit or maybe mm. some suggestions. So, um, Because here 82% of principals feel qualified yes. to, to actually lead their business. And so perception is reality. Yeah. So, so even they're though- They're thinking they're doing a great job. Great and job. they are, and <laughs> yeah. working with the best intentions. Yeah. Uh, and but then if you were to ask the team or get some 360 degree feedback to check in well what what matters what most and what and what's um, what are we doing really well and what are the opportunities to improve and do yeah. I feel like there's a space for me to even give feedback because yeah. there are many different leadership styles some are more sort of open and affiliative and coachable and then others kind of like the my way or the highway mm. approach mm. which statistics show doesn't work yes how would you describe your leadership style Oh, look, ours are definitely supportive. Yeah. Uh, we walk the talk. We certainly mm. lead by, or like to think we lead by example. Mm. We wouldn't ask of our team to do something that we were aren't prepared to do ourselves. Well, I so know, I know, because I know your brand fairly well. There's a great culture I've seen even on your private Facebook page. If someone needs a hand at an OFI or an auction, you know, you, there's no shortage of no matter what office you work in or what what People team you're on. Help, you so just yeah, you jump in and help the yeah. collective, which yeah. you know kind of begins at the top, really. Yeah. Who in any industry as far as a leader is concerned, do you uh, are you inspired by Maria? I'll ask you first. Which which leader it doesn't have to be real estate? It doesn't. Ha it doesn't have to be real estate. Oh okay. look, um, Richard Branson is one yeah. of them. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And why? Love what he does. Um, he is a people's person. Yeah. He recognises that people is the key 
people is the key in business. Mm. But in real estate, I have to give I have to shout, give a shout out to John McGrath, yeah. only because obviously we're in his venue today, not just for that, but he's been amazing in the real estate industry. He's yeah. done some really, really good things. Eric is one of them. And in here all, we are 20 four years and a in. Half thousand people together, listening to some amazing speakers and all for, you know, helping the industry to become better mm. uh, by learning and by teaching. So yeah, big shout out to John. Yeah, well said. And Manos. Who um, inspires you? Because I know you you devour books and your yes. in podcasts, and you're always keen to get you know innovation and elevate your own thought leadership. Yeah. So oh, look, there's 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 many, yeah. and I wouldn't uh, single out any one particular person outside of but inside of real estate. There's one particular person that has a, a massive uh, influence impact on our organisation. That would be Chris Rolls. Uh -huh. Chris Rolls and uh, Chris Rolls from uh, the former uh, Rental Express. So we met Chris, Chris six, seven years ago, yep. and he put some processes in place and just showed us the abundance mentality, mm. um, how to work with teams, and we really learned a lot from that. And, and apart from that, from the sales point of view, uh, Mr. Lee Woodward. Lee yeah. Woodward's been, yeah. been fantastic uh, for us. He's uh, been part of your fabric for a long time. Without, since, no, the no since, yeah. the since the beginning. Since the beginning. Since the beginning. So really, really yeah. um, fortunate to have met and mm. obviously collaborated with him. And still working with him. A absolutely. With yeah. But there's yeah. many, many. Of course, yeah. of mm. course, mm. yeah. And there's no shortage of what we all can learn in, around leadership but I think if we break it down to there's the skills component and then there's the willingness yeah. so you know as a final question as you've, you've both said you know there's you can uh, modify and learn and elevate your skills what do you think leaders need to focus on as far as a willingness is concerned because having the skills and not being willing to use them or use them consistently mm. is where a lot of things fall apart mm. what, what do you think is important as far as the willingness to lead, the willingness to go past when things get tough and you're not getting thanked. What does that take? They have to know their why. That's why they so doing always it. come back to why. It has to be that. It has to be. If you don't know why you're doing it, how can you get up every morning at five o'clock in the morning and go and then <laughs> yep. keep going back the day after and the day after and the day after? I mean, there's some days that you know we have oh. some chats and mm. men will go challenges, challenges, Oof. and men will say, "Well, this is what we signed up for," you know. Yeah. And you've got it's to remember true. that this mm. is what you signed up for. So I think knowing your why and all, and also just looking after yourself mm. um, you know every day so that you know that that you can cope with all that you know, yeah because be, when emotions you know, are high intelligence is low and yeah. we can maybe make the wrong decisions which can yeah. affect the ecology of the business the whole group so what's your why oh, <laughs> to inspire how long have we people, got <laughs> no. yeah, to inspire and help people build fun and profitable businesses that we and live extraordinary it. lives we, we just love it uh, yeah. going back to, to the maria's why and so forth it's 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 about being passionate about what you do you've mm. really got to fall in love with yeah. it you're not going to fall in love with every aspect and you're going to have those down days but it's about the journey mm. as opposed to the destination mm -hmm. uh, we all know that we'd love to do certain things travel a bit more buy things mm. etc but really drilling down um, to your why and our why it's is helping really, people. is helping people. people. Yeah. And you know, yeah. we've had different positions within the industry. We started as salespeople. Mm. I started as a salesperson. Within a year and a half, we had our own business, then we became business people. So it doesn't matter what we've done throughout the years, uh, if it's helping a vendor or helping a landlord mm -hmm. or helping a salesperson start, you know, in the, in the career. Or property manager or in property their own manager, business. Or Yes, or, or a business owner, a franchisee, it's helping people yeah. achieve what That's what, what fuels you. And that's, that's what fuels you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm. Yeah. Great. Awesome. 100%. Yeah. And you know that, that old saying goes, you, uh, you don't believe the message unless you believe the messenger. And one thing that's very congruent with the two of you is you are your values. Yeah. And uh, we are sitting here at Eric and you guys are about to get on a plane and go home and pack for Crete. Because yes. And you have 40 of your, your yes. team heading team. off to live the values and live the why in reality. We're so excited about so that. So it's not something that's just on a vision statement or in collateral. No. You're actually about to do it. And, and that was a goal of ours so you know writing down it was, it was mentioned um uh, bob wolf said it, it goes write down your goals and yeah. it was one of our goals to have an eview group conference in, in, our, in crete yeah so yeah it's that's becoming home. a reality yeah. uh, in two weeks time so and, yeah, and you get to go to your beautiful new home there so yes. 
good on you for Thank being, you, you know, a, a living, breathing example of creating nothing out of, you know, something out of nothing and, uh, you know, providing an opportunity for other people to lead people and feel like they can be supported in the process and go and travel internationally and have fun because, yeah. yeah. you know, we're here for a good time Absolutely. and a long time. So, Maria and Manos thank from the EV so Group, thank you so much for being on my couch at Eric today. <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having us. Awesome. I hope you found that useful. If so, please like it and share it. And if you'd like access to the free downloadable tool, just click on the available link. If you also have any questions or challenges, specifically in the area of leadership or mindset, just write it in the comments below and where possible, I'll provide solutions to your requests. Remember, let love lead and you can turn your workforce into the life source of your business. I'll see you next week for more TNJ TV.